Right, so ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I'm gonna be teaching you three really easy yet super visual card tricks that you can learn right now. You'll be learning how to visually change a card in midair. I'll be showing you how to vanish a card right in front of your spectator's eyes. And I'll even teach you this crazy illusion where you can push a playing card through some money. And then you can impossibly remove that card and there's no tear in the bill. Now, if you're new here, then my name's Oscar Owen and I'm a professional magician living in London. And this channel is dedicated to teaching you amazing magic tricks that will just make you a more interesting, well-rounded person. So if you like the sound of that, then please subscribe. So the magician has a deck of cards and he asks the spectator if they've ever seen a card vanish. And they say no. So he takes a random card, in this case, it's the two of hearts, and he's gonna rub it into the table. So he rubs the two into the table and it doesn't vanish so he tries that again so he takes the two and he rubs it into the table and as you can see the card's gone no it really is gone it's completely vanished and that's the magic trick this is a super visual effect that you can just do over and over again and it really just plays with your eyes and it's an amazing way to begin your magic tricks before going into a bigger performance of something so the secret to this effect is very simple. All you need to do is hold the deck in what is known as mechanics grip. So you've got your thumb along one edge, first finger over um, the top of the deck, and these three fingers down the side. Then take the top card and place it to the side just like this. And all you need to do is hold it with your thumb and practice pulling it flush with the rest of the cards. So just do this over and over again, and you want to just get really comfortable doing this. Once you're happy doing this move, all that's gonna happen is you're gonna do this, but under the cover of your other hand. As your other hand comes over, you're gonna pull the card flush and it's gonna look like you're rubbing it into the table. So there are a couple of subtleties that you want to also include to make this more convincing. The first is you want to do a fake rub at the beginning and the card doesn't go through. The second thing you want to do is as your hand comes over and you pull the card flush, you want to turn your wrist here. Turning your wrist just makes this whole illusion look a little bit more uh, visual and impossible. And then finally, if you want to be really fancy, you can also have your fingers open and last second close it and then do the move. And what this does is it just provides more of a retention of the card being in this hand before it goes. Very quickly, if you want to learn what I think is the best card trick in the world, then sign up to my free magic webinar. Inside, I'm going to be teaching you the perfect trick to do when you want to amaze your family and friends at something like a dinner party, or really anywhere, to be honest. This trick is easy to learn. It's the same effect that Dynamo and David Blaine often do. <laughs> and there's literally no sleight of hand, meaning it's perfect for beginners. So sign up to one of the free webinars now by clicking the first link in the description. You can also ask me questions live during these webinars so I can help you out. So sign up by clicking the first link in the description and spaces are limited to so do it now and I'll teach you the best card trick ever to amaze your family, friends and children. So the magician has a $100 bill and a playing card. And what he does is he takes the money and he folds it up like this. And then he takes the playing card and places it in front of the bill. He then folds the bill around the playing card. And when he shakes and waves, the card now is melting straight through the bill, just like that. Look how visual that looks. But at the same time, he can then even move the playing card around through the bill as it melts right through the middle of it. And then whenever he wants, he can pull the playing card out of the money and hand this note out to be inspected. There are absolutely no holes, as you can see there. For this magic trick, you need a paper bill and then two of the same playing cards. And one of the playing cards, you want to snip off about just under an inch of that playing card, as I've done here. Then you want to stick these two parts together. So you can use double-sided tape or glue, doesn't really matter. So it just looks like one playing card. At this point, you want to begin the trick by displaying the bill and displaying the playing card. And you don't want to be holding the playing card this way around because they might see the flap. So you want to hold it closer to you at this sort of angle. And it's just very unlikely that, you know, this looks completely normal and everything's fine. Then what you're going to do is you're going to fold the bill, not in half, but three quarters of the way like this. And you want the longer side, the higher side of the bill facing towards the spectator 
and you're going to place the playing card, what looks like from the front, just in front of the bill. But when you flip it around, what you've actually done is place the flap through the bill like this. So that's what it looks like from the front, but from the back, it looks like you're just placing the playing card over the back of the bill. Then you wrap the bill around the playing card, shake and twist, and you now say, look, the playing card is melted straight through the bill. This is super visual in itself, but then you can actually move the playing card around, move it left, right, up, down, and then when you want to finish the illusion, you just take your finger here, pull the playing card out and drop it onto the table. And then this can be handed out to be inspected. Everyone always thinks that there's something wrong with the bill, like there's a slit or something in it. So you can give this out to be inspected. They look at it, at which point you can put the card in your pocket or switch it out for another one. You've got all the misdirection in the world to do that. So the magician's got a deck of cards and he says to the spectator that he wants them to choose one. So he says, say stop whatever you want. In this case, the spectator's chosen this card here and they're told to remember it. So they've chosen the three of clubs. Now, obviously the magician wouldn't know this, but he takes back the card and places it somewhere into the middle of the deck, just like that. He then says that the spectator's card is gonna rise up through the deck and jump to the top. So he snaps his fingers and the spectator's card jumps to the top, which was the three of hearts. At this point, the spectator thinks that the magician's got the trick wrong because that wasn't their card. So the magician takes it and places it to the side and then says, watch this. He picks up the three of hearts, throws it through the deck and it magically changes into the spectator's three of clubs. So this is a very simple effect that just needs some double-sided tape and then you're ready to go. So take some double-sided tape and just place it here along the middle of the card, only about an inch or so, bang in the centre. Once you've done that, you're ready to begin. You can also just get normal tape and double it up and this will, that will also work as well. Then what you need to do is allow the spectator to choose any card that they like, so it doesn't matter, let's just say they choose this card here, the Ten of Hearts. You're going to show them the card, and as they're looking at the card, you need to do the only slight that this magic trick requires. What you're gonna do is known as a Marlow tilt, which is where you push the top card to the side and you pull it back, but you stick your little finger under it. So that's what the Marlow tilt looks like. I'll just show you that again. You hold the cards like this, you push the top card to the side, you pull back, and now my little finger is under the top card. Anyway, just practice doing this for me now. Hold the cards like this with your thumb along one edge, first finger across the top and these three fingers on the side. Then use your thumb to push across the top card and then you pull back with your thumb and you see how my little finger is now underneath the top card. What this does is it creates something known as a depth illusion where it looks like the deck is completely flat but actually it's raised up slightly at the back. And this means when I come to push the card back into the deck, all I'm gonna be doing is sliding it under the top card, but from the front, it really looks like the card is going into the middle of the deck somewhere. And just to sell this illusion even more, what I'd like to do is just press on these cards here, so it looks like I'm pushing the card into the middle of the deck, and then you just slide it under the top card, and that's it. So at this point, the spectator thinks their card is somewhere in the middle of the deck, but in reality, it's second from the top. Then you just snap your fingers and say their card has jumped to the top. Obviously it's not the right card it's, uh, because it's, this is the three of hearts. As you say this isn't your card, you press down on the three and what this does is it sticks these two cards together so it just looks like one card. And you say, ah, that wasn't your card, no worries. We'll take this and we'll place it to the side. So you place it near you and all that's gonna happen is you're gonna pick up these cards here and you're gonna throw the card through the deck and it's gonna flip over and change into their card. So the technique for throwing the card is very simple. Hold it between these two fingers here and you're just kind of throwing and flipping. It's a very subtle, simple movement and all you're then gonna do is do this, but through the deck. And when you practice this a lot, it creates the really visual illusion that you're able to throw the card through the deck and make it change. If you want to end clean, then all you need to do is pick up the top card and just 
remove it from the double-sided tape. There is a bit of sound there, but if you're in any environment that's not quiet, uh, no one will ever notice it. And then just cut the double-sided um, tape somewhere into the deck and then hand this out for inspection. So thanks so much for watching this, guys, and make sure you sign up to my free magic training if you want to learn the best card trick in the world.